Hi, everyone. When using an automation tool like Power Automate, in order to build your flows, it is often essential to create a table from data in an Excel workbook as an early step. But what if your workbook contains an ever-changing number of rows each time your flow runs? In this video, we will learn how to use Excel Automate to write a script that will create a table from a dynamic range of data. To start, I've got a sample workbook that we're gonna use. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Excel and we're gonna open the Automate tab. And then we're gonna go to Record Actions. We're now in recording mode. So what we wanna do is we wanna create a table from this data here. So as long as I've clicked in here on one of our uh, cells with data, then I'm gonna go to the Home tab and I'm gonna go format as table, and I'm just gonna choose this first table style here. And you can see format as table, the data for your table is in the following range, A, 1, C, A, because you can see that that is the range that uh, contains data. So here's A1, here's C8. And we wanna check the box where my table has headers because yes, we do have headers on this table. Go ahead and click okay. And that's it, we've added our table. So we can go ahead and click stop. That's the only action we need to record. Now we need to edit our script. So we click on the edit and we're gonna to need to change some of this code that's going to have dynamic data. So here's how we do that. We're gonna ex expand this over and then we want to edit some of this code. So what we're gonna edit here is where it says let select a sheet, we're gonna insert a row under that. And we're going to call this, we're going to um, label our rows here. Get dynamic chart range. So that's what this next row under here is going to do. So we need to enter the code. Let my range equal selected sheet dot get range, and we're gonna use A2, dot, get, surrounding region, and get, address. The next thing we need to do is we need to edit this line of code down here and we need to take out the A1 to C8 and we need to add in my range. So we're gonna remove this code and add in my range. And then let's update our description text here. We'll remove this and we'll just call this my range. So create a table with format on range, my range, on select the sheet. Make sure to save. Let's close our edit. Well, first, actually, let's go back and let's rename this, this script. We'll call it create table with dynamic range. All right, now we've saved that. Let's go ahead and test this out. So let's open a, a new workbook. And I'm gonna paste in that same exact table that we worked with in the first example, except this time, let's add an extra row to test it out. So we go back to automate. And in this little box here, we can see the script that we just created, create table with dynamic range. So let's open that and let's run it and see if it works. And there we go. We've got our table. Let's give it one more run. Open up a new workbook. We'll paste in this data. And this time, let's remove two rows. Now, go back to automate, click on our script and run. 
So that is how to create a table that has a dynamic range using Office scripts. I hope this video was helpful for you. I'm looking forward to you exploring more with Office scripts and incorporating those into my Power Automate flows. Thanks everyone for watching. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Bye-bye.